Okay, so I don't usually do um, these YouTube videos where I like show stuff other than Minecraft, but so I got linked to this thing, player.me, um, by Brent Copeland. And oh my god, I love it! It's awesome. So I thought I'd go over a few things because the people on my Twitter feed keep asking me stuff, and it's probably just simpler if I put up a YouTube video. So, uh, I think you have to have a beta invite link. Um, I'll put one at the bottom of the YouTube thing. Um, it's new. It's beta still. So I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some bugs and stuff. But, so you can be personalized. You get your, your, your basic profile thing. If, if I go to me, we've got, um, the background and my lovely image that everybody's so used to. Because I'm just a weird, random, floating face. Um, and down here you see these links, Steam, Twitch, Twitter, website, YouTube. You can actually add links, yeah, yeah, like I'm going to do Facebook, Twitch, well that's Twitter. Um, which you can actually, you can either just link to it or you can actually like hook them up. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, Twitch, YouTube. Hitbox for the people who have gotten fed up with, you know, Twitch for one reason or another. Google Plus, if you happen to be a Google employee, because I think that's the only people who actually use that. Steam, it can actually go and find your friends on Steam. Um, though my friends actually, it doesn't um, find because none of my friends are on Steam or using it. Uh, PlayStation ID, I think. I don't know. I don't have any consoles. Uh, this one I recognize, Xbox Live. Uh, it says you can add your achievements. Um, yay! So anyway, those, those link down here, and then if people click on them, uh, they, could, they go over to that site. Um, so this has uploaded all of my uh, YouTube videos, linked to them at the bottom. My favorite games are here. You can like games, favorite games. I haven't added a bio. Um... Random bio gets added there. I wonder where it shows up. We can go random stuff about stuff and things with stuff icing. Oh, I should spell random correctly. That would be good. So does that, that show up anywhere out of curiosity? It doesn't look like it. Anyway, it's nice and streamlined here. So, of course, the interesting part is in the feed area. So, we've got um, this. It, with here, with uh, having Facebook and Twitter linked, if you type in here, type something, and you click it, it turns blue. If I press post, that'll go on both here and my Twitter account, so the people who are, aren't actually on here yet will get to see it anyway. However, there, there, there is one thing I've noticed. See, you see how it says 686 characters left? If you go over the 140 character limit of Twitter, you can no longer cross post. That's sad. Ew. However, we can edit posts. So if, if I want to change things after I've... Um, done that, is, uh, press enter to submit changes. Hey! Awesome! Editing! Because, you know, who hasn't wanted to edit a, a, a tweet in the past? Also, it's purple. I love purple. Everybody should love purple. So, um, of course, you know, you, I, I don't know if anybody other than me sometimes gets annoyed when they go to their Twitter and it's like, oh my god, hey, look, I've got like 60 pages of, um, sorry, Runewolf, Runewolf in this case, you know, posting, you know, YouTube videos and Twitch videos. I don't want those right now. Right now I just want to see what people are talking about. I can gray those out. I can press reload and, hey, no more YouTube and Twitch video videos. Now if I want to, if I still want to see them, I can go over here to discover or streaming. Um, of course, the, the streaming one doesn't work right now because I turned off the streams, but 
you know, here to discover streams, and it goes, hey, the games that she liked, uh, let's look at Twitch and see who's playing what. Maybe she'll find something she wants to see. Maybe useful for somebody. Uh, maybe not so much for me. Uh, now, the other part I, I really love is the way it handles conversations. So this is one conversation feed. Sort of like on, on Twitter when you have like that entire long, you know, you've got tons of people all chattering back and forth and you're going, okay, who is replying to who where? This keeps it all neat and orderly in a line. It's awesome. And then when, you know, I'm tired of being notified about this conversation, I can click on the original one, click unsubscribe, and voila, I won't get notifications about it anymore. This rocks. I love this. All those times when somebody tags you once and then somebody else decides to have a really long freaking conversation about something you have, you know, you don't care about that has nothing to do with the original post, but you're tagged in it. And so now you're getting every notification ever. Not anymore. Just click. So in, uh, initial posts have 700 characters. And then uh, comment posts, if you reply, have, uh, looks like about 350. More room for you to misspell words. Of course, you still get, you've got your followers, you've got your following. So yeah, this is awesome. I think more people should try this and we should see whether or not maybe, you know, this replaces some of the problems that us gamers have with Twitter. Because, well, Twitter can be obnoxious at times. Okay, that's it, yeah. Uh, I'll put a link at the bottom if you want to come join me in playing and seeing whether or not we uh, think this is a good thing to use.